morning. Welcome here in Zurich for the 10th Swiss Conference on Data Science. It's good for networking, but then I think it's also helpful to acquire more knowledge. For example, to spend three hours on one topic, it's uh, much more intense than uh, if you go to one talk and then the next one. I really liked the Responsible AI workshop that I attended this morning because I think it's a very important and timely topic which requires a lot of discussion. The highlight for us was to see how the participants got some ugly data visualizations in the beginning in our workshop and they had to improve them and make their own data stories out of it. And in an interactive workshop you get feedback, you can try out things, you can discuss and through that you learn and for data visualization this is key. We're living in an AI generation, an AI arena, and I think what we really realize that if you're not going to leave a mark, you're not going to be in the game. But AI can still not perform and make you cry. AI can not feel the pain. It's just amazing to see how year after year we have increased our engagement with the conference. And this year we have organized around five workshops um, with the conference already today. And I'm really excited also for the day tomorrow. For the next few years of SDS, I hope that SDS will continue its growth trajectory. And also I hope that the important changes that we will see penetrating into society out of AI will also be taken up by SDS as it has already been in the past. One of the great things about the SDS conference is the, the people that gather here, this community that has been building up since 10 years. You meet people from 10 years ago and you still have good discussions with them. You meet project partners from the past, you meet project partners of the future. It brings together people from industry and academia. I'm used to going to academic conferences and seeing all academics, but this is actually engaging both sides and I think we all have a lot to learn from each other. I'm super excited that we can see this organic growth of, uh, in terms of participants over the years, especially from the last year to this year, where we have something like 40% more participants at the SDS. We are sponsoring SDS because it's in the strategy of our, of our university. It's a great way for us to be seen and to see also what's going on around the world in terms of uh, cool advancements in data and AI. I think the program is really good. We have been working together with the organizing committee to have a program that is really, really interesting, broad and deep in many different directions. The implication of machine learning and, and data science for society is a big one, I think. The biggest change is going to be that we're going to interact with machines in a much more natural way because they'll also learn sort of our way of thinking. Yeah, I'm very happy about the prize because I came here showcasing the work of my colleagues and I. And I mean, this showed that people like what we're doing. It gives me the opportunity to present my research locally here in Switzerland. This conference is important to me because I can see what problems uh, researchers are working on in the Swiss data science community and also what problems enterprises are facing.